but we'll do like the awoken main and we'll do this right so we have primary awoken and then we have stygian in the back and let's go The end is near. The Great Trader will devour your spells. You better bring more of them if so he takes my spells. Seraph the Digilent. Diligent. Alright, so we have Woken, Stygian as our clans. We have, this is the cards we get randomly. We got two stings. Deal five damage to the front enemy unit. Draw plus one next turn. Not bad for a zero cost card. Not bad at all for a zero cost card. Honestly, I feel like the Awoken is one of the better classes. Because all the cards I see from there, I'm like, this is good stuff. Now, of course, the Stygian could have been a lot better if I... Made a better deck and, you know, better synergies. But, for the most part, this is okay. Deal 25 damage to the front enemy unit. Discard a card at random. Restore one health. Gain one ember or energy. And draw one next turn. Not bad. Okay. Let's see what artifact we have before we do the upgrade, right? When you play a spell, spells in the hand that cost less are reduced to zero. Whoa. When you play a spell, spells that cost less are reduced to zero. So if we get a crap ton of card draw, this is insane. If conceptually, it sounds nuts. We get a crap ton of card draw and we get some expensive spells, we can potentially play a lot of things at once. Okay. Explosive or bristling. So we have the Sentient as our champion. Rejuvenate. Deal 15 damage to the front enemy unit whenever you heal. So rejuvenate does that also let's take a look at our deck real quick my bad we have fr three frozen lances three restores so rejuvenate goes well with that we have two stings we have four titan stewards and two titans gratitude we also have an ingraft which is a restore one gain energy which also triggers rejuvenate a pretty good card this is spikes i'm gonna go with the rejuvenate every time you, you heal you do damage like a juggernaut for healing the anvil sounds extremely good. Something about that seems really strong. So we're going to put this on. All enemies have armor. These disciples have dedicated themselves to the service of heaven. So we look at the enemies. They have a 0-1 trusted peace. priest who restores health to his units, his friends. A 240 disciple. And the chains decided she has 4 damage at 130 life. And adds self-mutilation cards. Should be fine. Let's go. Deal ah. damage to the enemy in front. Well, my champion can handle itself. So what I'll do is this. Ah. We'll do this. Get a little sting going on. A little bit of a train steward. Block it up. And restore her. Boom. Damage. We'll put this guy up here. Get it out of her deck. So far, smooth sailing. Now the priest is going to heal, but it's okay. For the glory of heaven. Ooh, we want to get that. Let's sting that. Boom. All right, so let's do ingraft here. Boom. Let's do... All right, let's do Frozen Lance into Titan's Gratitude. But before we do that, let's play a card we want to play, like Train Steward and then Titan's Gratitude. And now we kill that unit. Actually, we don't kill the unit because my champion doesn't do damage. But that's, that's all right. What we need to get is region stuff. stuff. Region stuff that lasts. So that by the end of the turn, if she's healing at the end of her turn, she's doing 15 damage. It's like she's attacking, but not really attacking. So she's immune to spikes. Because if she just regions, she does 15 damage, which is a lot of damage if you think about it. Imagine a 15, 25 health champion. Nuts. But that comes at the cost of you need region. You need region. Let's put this up there. I want to get it out of my deck. And then uh, this guy's going to die anyway, so let's just go chill. And... Let's give this guy some health. Why not? And let's do some stinging. Why not? And let's do that. Why not? Let's fill our units up. Pretty basic. Not much going on. Early game. All right. Final boss is here. Well, I'll tell you what. Uh. My champion's already dead for the most part. But she has regen, so... She does damage. She's gonna die slow death. If 
If only we had two cost spell. I know. If we had a two cost spell, that would have been great. Wait, did I miss a two cost spell? Did I, did I just miss the ability to play all my cards? Wait, I can I can just I can discard the weight of contrition. I can just play it as well. And GG. Yeah, the champion is very tanky, so the champion does want to be in the front. That's absolutely true. Absolutely true. Restore 2 health to all friendly units and deal 2 damage to all enemies. I like Glimmer. Glimmer was quite nice. Um, I'm gonna take a Glimmer. Glimmer, I upgrade that card and it can become 12-12 and that's quite nice. So deal 5 damage to enemy units and apply 10 Frostbite. And if you discard this card, well, you play it for free. This does 25 to the enemy in the front twice and this does some Frostbite for pretty cheap cost. Now, this is an expensive spell. Now, if you play this spell, every spell becomes free. So I'm taking something like that because... Yes, it's expensive, but it also makes everything else free because of the split anvil. That changes my way I do things. Um, this is a very good unit. This is a 5-3-30 tank that also gives energy when it gets hit. This is an AoE sweeper, which is also quite useful. And this is a thorned hollow. Gain 50 max health, and when it heals, it gains spikes. I'm going to take the wilting sap here. And... Um, we're going to look for some card draw, because I think card draw is going to be the best thing to go with our anvil strategy. We can forge our units and give them some upgrades, so cards that I would want to upgrade in terms of units would... At the moment, no units. I guess the Sapwood is a good unit. He's one of my main units, sure. Or we can get gold and upgrade our spells, and spells we want to upgrade are probably Engraft. Or we want to upgrade Glimmer, because Glimmer is one of our best AoE spell. And we can get some more gold and carry on. So I'm going to go ahead and do Merchant of Magic. And then we're going to do some upgrades in our spells. Make a spell have double stack. So if we do it on this, it does 20 Frostbite. Sounds pretty good, right? And then we can make something cost cheaper. Now, cost and cheaper is actually not that good because of the anvil. But we can make something pretty strong. For instance, we can make... Glimmer of 22, uh, they call this die, 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 where it basically just AoE 22 and it's gone, but I'd rather cycle back into it. We can make one of our lances a big, big 26er. We can make this a 21 heal. That's not that great. We can get rid of one of our stings. We can make a 25 damage sting, and then it gets out of our deck, so we can give it consume, which is not bad. We can do Titan's Gratitude, get it out of our deck. So do we want to get out of these cards? Do we want some of these cards to get out of our deck? Or are we happy... We're playing these cards more than once. To be honest, I don't like... To be honest, I don't like... Um, I don't like Sting that much. I don't mind getting out of my deck. Restore is quite useful because it rejuvenates. So I think I'll get Sting out of my deck when I, once I play it. You said it's Slay the Spire all, all over again? Why do you say that? Let's go ahead and remove one of these lances. Let's get out of here. I normally would go reduce the cost of one of the spells, but because we have split anvil, I'm not so worried about the spell cost. All right. Non-boss enemies get plus four strength. We're going to get a unit. I'm doing it. I think unit is one maybe not... Oh, I actually know. What am I kidding? Some of these units are insane. I'm drafting some of these units. Uh, they're pretty beefy. This is on me, though. So this is my tanker. And, uh... If I give her some regen, she kills these units pretty easily, actually. She kills that. She kills that. And she kills that. Nice. So... Oh, hello. Let's go do that. Give me that gold. Beautiful. And... Let's give her more regen, because she's kind of have regen stacking right now. And let's just do... Frozen Lance. And everything's dead. Beautiful. 
Nothing to stink. Imagine a world where there's nothing to stink. Imagine that. It's the final wave already. Well, I don't have an expensive spell. Where is it? What happened? It's already the final. Wait, I need to do Glimmer. Go the back line. I gotta live for a lot longer when I do that. She doesn't have any region, so she's not doing any damage. She's just tanking for my little guy in the back, which is fine. But I want to be doing more. This guy has spikes. Ah, so my guy was killing himself. Now this is going to be troublesome, because I don't have Frostbite applied. Still don't have Frostbite applied. This is quite troublesome. Frostbite applied. We finally got the Titan Sting. Does it does this count as a spell or no? Well damn, I got my cards so into the worst order. GG! At least we got Frostbite eventually. Could be worse. Could be better. More Glimmers, more Stings, or Skip. These are not the greatest cards. I'm going to skip. Um, offering. Deal 60 damage to the front enemy and push it to the back. Now, this is good because it's a 3 cost. So, for Anvil, I want 3 costs. 60 damage is pretty damn good. I take something that's usually bad which is expensive and it turned into a boost a boon this is a 50 max health and also gets spikes this is kind of a body this is an aoe sweeper it's also an aoe sweeper apply spell weakness to the attack unit i mean that works with glimmer that could be useful and the fact that I, i'm gonna take the the hush permit i like it better some of these units are not that great i will say that the hell horn has some some crazy stuff going on so we can upgrade our units and we can also restore health or we can go for an artifact and a unit. You know, I'll go for the artifacts. Gain, grant two stacks of frostbite each time it is applied. Frostbite does not decay. Cuddlebeard sounds nuts. So we get, it's like Snackle Skull, so it applies even more frostbite each time it's applied, but it doesn't decay. That sounds kind of nuts. Now the decay sounds a little bit more insane than it should be because to be honest, the battle goes up a floor, up a floor, and then then it's at their pyre. But you can do things like move them down and daze them. So if you can like manipulate the movement of the enemies and bring them down, bring them down, stun them, root them, whatever, then the frostbite doesn't go away and then that's pretty damn good. Now, of course, daze is also very insane. Daze allows you to get free frostbites on as well. I should, I should have done this after the unit because this might be a duplication and I don't see the unit first. Oopsies, always go for the unit first. The train stops near some familiar crystals. The Covenant Memorial in the middle was refracted twice by the crystals surrounded it. One larger, one smaller. In front of each, there are markings for a creature to stand and receive remaining energy. Do you investigate the crystals further? So we can make a unit have plus two uh, capacity. It takes up two more space. 30 attack, 30 health. Or make a unit smaller. And make it take up less space. Do I want this one big beefy dude and give him a lot of life and a lot of damage? How about my sweeper? This guy's gonna cost four. 
but he's gonna do 23 sweeping sorry 33 sweeping and have 55 life now if we want we can make our ch can we do our champion I don't think we can do our, I don't think we can make our champion one cost This is also pretty good because we get energy, but I think I'm going to make my sweeper one big, beefy dude. Imagine if that was like a, a multi-strike. Man, if that was a multi-strike unit, ah, that's game over. There's a blinding flash and an ear-splitting roar. Where your ally once was now stands a behemoth. As you depart, the train lurches under the creature's newfound weight. Yeah, multi-strike would have been insane. Overall, not the best. I should have picked the unit first. Whoopsies. This could have been something else. I don't really like these units. Okay, this is interesting. If you play spells, it gains health and attack. So if you put it at the top, it scales up. And I don't mind that. Although, it's gonna take a while to scale up a lot, but at least it's scaling. Daedalus. Constructed explosive, enter with damage shield. They nullify the next source of damage. So I need to learn the difference between Spell Shield and Damage Shield. I'm assuming Spell Shield is just for spells. I'm gonna take, assume that that's what it is. This does nothing to me. Put my big beefy sweeper right in the front so that everybody just gets sweeped up at the beginning. And then we have our sentient over here just chilling. Just chilling. So they gotta get through my big beefer before they come to me. Multi strike sweeper, maybe a legendary unit would be multi strike sweeper, but multi strike in general would have been the same with that buff. Uh oh, not that. So I want to play this at the top, right? Because she's gonna be my scaler, so we're gonna put her right there. I, if I can make her smaller, that'd be insane. Imagine if you can fit her in the back, and she's like a small one cost unit. Oh, I forgot to put Titans two first. Whoopsies. But it's only only on that floor. You see, that's not as good. You see, I don't like it as much now. That's unfortunate. Yeah, I don't like it as much now. Whoopsies. I definitely should have applied Titan's Tooth on the boss and given Frostbite, because Frostbite does not decay. 100% should play Titan's Tooth as soon as I see it. Because Frostbite on the boss would have been sick. So, whoopsies. Frostbite's very good here as well. Because it is double stack. Well, my big beefy sweeper is going to kill all those units. So that's quite nice. I'm gonna save my sting for another day. I also don't have space for all these stewards, so this is a, a good time where you want to get rid of the stewards. I can get sting out of the deck. I think it's pretty useful. There's not much I could do here, to be honest. I'll just do that. How are you doing, Hero Escape? When you ascend or descend, you can overfill? Really? Okay, I gotta try doing some stuff like that. So I can give her health. So we always want to do stuff like this, right? It makes everything free. So that's like really good. That's a quick way to scale my my girl. It's actually kind of perfect. That's kind of perfect, kind of cute. Make my girl get nice and scaly. I see my sweeper do some work. Boom. Sweeper is just doing work. A big 33 sweeper. Love it. It's a pretty strong upgrade for this early in the game. Always do Titan's Tooth, guys. Always do Titan's in that lane. Look at all that frostbite. Region her. And, uh, alright, that is what it is. Let that be. 
I can get Sting out of the deck now. Or I can just let it be. Yeah, it's probably a good estimate. The game's not out yet. It's coming out May 21st. I have early access here. You can play the demo over on Steam. Frostbite's doing some work here. We do Crypt Builder. Look at this damage, guys. Look at this damage. And he has Frostbite on him as well. Frostbite's doing work. GG boys and just like that gorgeous 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 major enhancements okay so I kind of want to get like more space so I don't like Psycho Life is very good because we have Anvil remember this Anvil is insane guys if you guys are just coming in here and you're new Split Anvil is an artifact that I have. When you play a spell, spells in hand that cost less are reduced to zero for the turn. So we really want to look for card draw. And a matter of fact, I think I'm going to look for card draw here. So I think card draw makes the most sense because we want to play more skills. But Light of Seraph is also quite good. Because if I do Light of Seraph, I can play my big beefy four cost guy. And also put something behind him. Like our Scaler. So... I do want card draw, but for now I'm going to take the Seraph because I think it definitely helps me out a lot because I, I had a lot of units I couldn't play. Now keep in mind, I could remove some of these units, like those stewards, we don't really want them. In fact, I probably should go prioritize removal right now. Get another unit and we can upgrade our spells. Or we can duplicate a card and gain some gold. So if we were to duplicate a card, what would it be? We would probably duplicate our Frostbite card, right? So at this point, Titan's Tooth is very good. It applies 24 Frostbite. And it makes everything, all the other spells in my hand free. That's pretty good to duplicate. Imagine stacking a lot of Frostbite to all enemies. That's quite insane. But of course, I don't get the removal of the bad cards in my deck. So we have one last chance. Oh, we can see what else we can do. We can do more duplicate. Oh, we can see what's coming up. So we have removal over here with an artifact. So I can wait. Oh my god, I can see what's coming up. That changes everything. We can duplicate over here as well. And also remove over here. Okay, so we duplicate... We so we duplicate now. Oh, but we can duplicate over here. So if we if we wait long enough, we can duplicate over here. Or remove there as well. Wait, we can see everything that's coming up. This is gross. Okay. So I think I want to go ahead and upgrade some of my cards then. Wait. The fact that I can see everything is too much information. So removal is very good here then. Because if I get rid of some of these things, I only play skills. Well then my deck is just that much more streamlined. And the fact that I can see what's coming up is quite insane. Let's see what unit we get here. I'm going to go ahead and skip. I don't need any more units like that. And let's see what we can do here. Can we give a, a, something double double stack? I'm, I'm curious. So we can't double stack it twice. Okay. But we can give a unit eight spikes. Not that great. Double stack is a great thing, but not for what I'm doing here. And we don't care about removing cost as much because, like I said, we have split anvil. So if anything, I want to keep removing some of these cards. And... Let's make something else get out of our deck. So, for instance, um, we can make the stings get out of our deck. Now, they're not the worst cards. They're not the worst cards because they give me card draw. But they're also not the best cards either. You know? So, I can make some of these cards get out of my deck. Because we only really kind of want to draw into Titan's Tooth more often, right? And I also have an interesting theory or interesting idea. If we make Crypt Builder or Titan's Tooth one cost cheaper, then Crypt Builder can make 
Titans 2 free or vice versa, I can make Crypt Builder free. So it's important that maybe one of them is lower cost. So I think I make Crypt Builder cheaper. And Titan 2 is my priority. And I can make Crypt Builder free if I play Titan 2. But 2 cost still makes everything else free. Right? So that's not bad. But overall, it's just like... <laughs> Surge Stone is not that great. Basically says I can get a unit, something out of your deck. I'll do the Stink. I don't really like that card that much. Um, I'll save some money. For like, there's like merchant shops, right? Different, different merchant shops. Upgrade our champion now. So now, whenever I rejuvenate, I deal 30 damage to the front, which is insane. Or I can get 10 spikes. Or just get 10 spikes. I'm going to do... Rejuvenation. How much rejuvenation do I really have, though? Maybe the spikes is better. Rejuvenation is better. I'm gonna do rejuvenation. I'm gonna play into that. And what we're gonna do is put cycle of life. So I was looking for things like hold over for cycle of life or things like that. We didn't get hold over for cycle of life. We didn't get any actually good buffs at all for cycle of life. It's a little bit unfortunate. Spikes is good for those rounds you don't have rejuvenation. That's true. That's true. I, I want to lean into the reju 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 rejuvenation route, though. At the start of the battle, enemy units are clear on each floor. I can be kind of scary. The payoff is 150 gold. I'm going to go ahead and take a risk, guys. And I'm going to take this trial. Spikes is always good. Yeah, you know what? I, I should be respecting Spikes more. We know how good bronze scales is in Slay the Spire. We should respect Spikes more. That's my bad. We also saw how Spikes won that other run. Put my big sweeper where? Well, these guys are going to over here, so the thing is, I want to put my big sweeper over here, but well, she can always heal, right? So the problem is, I don't want those guys going up. You know what I'm saying? I don't want them going up to my pyre. So I kind of want to make sure these guys die. But my big sweeper wants to be in the bottom. That's the only unfortunate thing. Also, if I had energy, I could play Cycle of Life and Crypt Builder. Ah, but putting my Big Sheeper over here is a little bit sketch. Because I want to do the onset of damage over here. But I guess I could do Frostbite stuff over here. If they want to do that much damage at all, yeah. Well, well the thing is, they're still going to do like 8 damage, right? Eight damage is not that great. I have to take eight damage to my 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 pyre. Eight damage is not that much, right? Eight damage is not that much. Now they're only doing eight. Only doing eight. These guys, are, these guys are gonna do more, but by the time that becomes a problem, I could, uh, I can handle that. They all attack before getting buffs, so they only do eight. I mean, it's like eight damage. I don't get as much score, but you know, whatever. I'm getting 150 gold for this, so that's fine. 150 gold for eight damage. Can't complain. Let's put this guy over here. Um, well, I kind of want to kill the girl in the back. How do I kill the girl in the back? Fuck, see, this is the problem with this class. Is now I can't kill the girl in the back. That's really sad. That's 75 gold. Where's my glimmer? If I put a monster on the last floor, then they would do more damage to my pyre. Uh, I just can't get I can't kill her then, huh? That's just that's just the naked truth. That's just the naked truth.
can I die? My power is taking even more damage. Uh, that's really bad. My power is taking even more damage. Oh, this is really bad. Not only do I miss the 75 gold, my power is taking even more damage. Still whatever though. Still whatever. So let's let that be the last. Let's let that be the last amount of damage. Only because I, of the you know the start that I had. I forgot to put this girl in the pack. Oopsies. I should be rejuvenating the guy in the top, though. Right. So we want to play tiny tubes always. And now we play all this stuff. So we want to play like a lot of our spells here because of my little uh, girl who does. Gets, she gets buffed. I should probably play all my skills there, to be honest. I think I draw really buff, you know? Well, I've got a brief respite. Let's put this girl in the back. A little tankier. I should probably regen this guy. He's pretty low. Not bad. So there's the big dude. Cycle of life is quite nice. I can play everything for free. Do I want to cycle life this guy or do I want to cycle life somebody else? Well, he has a lot of attack. So let's do that. I can go the distance. I need to get some frostbite on him. He has a lot of life still. Where's my Titan Suit? There it is. Very good. I think I just win right now. Just like that, boys, we win. Beauty of Frostbite. Now I want to duplicate Titans too. Remember, now we want to go and duplicate Titans too at the next place coming up. Because that's very powerful. Alright, we got 150 gold. We got some packs. I like it, like it, like it a lot. Restore and retreat is very good because if they ever get to the top, then I'm, I'm kind of screwed. Actually, Invigorating Solution is very good as well. Three card draw plus the fact that. When I play spells, everything becomes free. That could be a really big turn. The various shows is very good. This is a four region, that, and that's very good because my champion does a lot of damage with region. So this does do a lot of region, so that's good damage. This is all really good. The solution and the region. I'll do the region. Let's try it out. But also the ability to move them down is also pretty good. Apply days to all enemy units. That's really good. You basically say, hey, you're not going to attack at all for a whole turn. If you play this last, the discard your hand doesn't even mean anything. If you play this last, the discard your hand is not even that important. This is... Whoa! This is an enemy, or no, a unit that... Whenever you play a spell, it does four, four spells to all units. That's kind of insane. So I really like this, this day because it just like buys you a whole turn. But I also want to do some Frostbite shenanigans. It's a cute little totem as well. It's gotta be careful to not get like AoE down. Get a selection of trinkets and get some health, or 
get an artifact, upgrade some units, and remove more cards. If we remove more cards, what are we removing at this point? Frozen Lance. And uh, maybe a Titan's Gratitude, because two of them are kind of awkward. I do kind of like the, the trinkets, though. Okay, I'm going to go remove. I forgot to check the artifact. At the end of the turn, apply Frozen to a random card in your hand. This card will not be discarded at the end of the turn. Frozen is removed when the card is played. Interesting. Merchant costs are reduced by 25%. Let's go for a Guildmaker. Even though the run's almost over. We'll get some discounts. Give a unit quick. Make a unit have plus 6. So we can give a unit potentially quick and plus 6. Make a unit have plus 4 and plus 6 health. So who would want quick? Let's take a look. This guy. Imagine this guy with quick. He's AoE sweeper and he attacks first. That's done. Let's give a unit some health and some damage. I don't want to give this guy damage because if he attacks, he can die to spikes. So it's actually good that he doesn't attack. Whereas if I give this guy the damage... Now let me see. Let's do that. I want to do something like this, maybe. This is my big, my big dudes. Uh, we want, do we want to move more cards? We're about to remove some cards now. So we're going to move Titan's Gratitude. We're probably going to move the last steward, right? So let's remove a steward now. And we're going to go remove two cards. And the deck's looking pretty clean. And I think games like this, you got to be careful for the how small things it can become. Because I think that's when things get kind of broken. At this point, we... I think at this point we get rid of a Frozen Lance, but then we're kind of running out of skills to play. We'll get rid of a Frozen Lance. Alright, I think the deck's gotten much better. 19 cards. Harvesters of Death. Death obsessed Clips who gain strength with every kill. So, Heaven Sealed, non boss enemy units, restore all health and move up the floor. Now, some of this, this guy has 5 damage and 90 health and gains armor when a unit dies on the floor. This guy's got 1 health, and this. Okay, so do I want to give them... Oh, it's stealth. Not a target in combat. Loses one stack each turn, every turn. Do I want to give them the ability to heal up and get a random artifacts? Or is that too risky? I think Heaven Seal is one of the harder ones. Especially with the Frostbite deck. So I'm going to go ahead and not do Heaven Seal. It was a little bit hard. Um, let's go ahead and put the Sentient out right here. Let's give this guy in the back. And then let's do Glimmer. And let's give her Restore. And that guy's almost dead. That's 50 damage right there. We have good rejuvenation combo. I really like the Awoken a lot. So I sting sting and I can get that stuff beautifully. So we put this. We do sting. And that guy's that girl's already dead, right? So we can put this guy on top, maybe. To tank for him. I forgot to put engraft. Engraft just engraft just gives me. Engraft just gives me the energy back. I forgot to play that. Oopsies. How good is this game? This game's pretty fun, man. This game's pretty fun. I forgot to play Engraft there. Remember, Engraft just play it. It's a free card. Gives you energy right back. Still don't have our big sweeper yet. There he is. Cycle of Life here so we can play all the other skills for free. Why not give this unit some Cycle of Life? Problem is... This guy is not dying. So we do this, now he's dead. And everybody gets frostbite because of that. That's that's freaking insane, dude. Let's give us some regen. My champion is doing work here. My champion is doing work. And this thing is insane, that AoE frostbite. I love it. Frostbite is poison. So frostbite is just another word for poison. And I have a relic that I get two stocks of frostbite for each time it's applied, and it does not decay. So, Frostbite is poison here. Look at this. 24 poison and 5 damage to everybody. 
And I have a thing called Split Anvil. So when you play a spell, a spells in the hand that costs less are reduced to zero. So we play this. And now all my skills are played for zero. So what we want to do is restore. And then what I want to do is play this. And uh, let's attack this guy. And then attack that guy. Whoopsie, I want to do it in that lane. Whoopsies. It's okay. I like this a lot. It's a really cool deck. I want to keep scaling these guys up because they have a lot of region, right? So I want to keep stacking the region up. We can put this in the middle. So we can restore this dude. That guy's dead. Let's keep regening this guys because this is my big tankers. This guy's dead. And then when, when they get to this floor, they get a lot of Frostbite. So like, I apply Frostbite for playing spells, and then I also get this girl scaled up when I play spells. And then when they get to the bottom, at the top, they have a big-ass sweeper to deal with. So for instance, we play Crypt Builder, we play Cycle of Life always, and everything else is free. So we do Crypt Builder, Awake, Glimmer, Restore, and it's GG. So since she regens, she, she goes through stealth because she doesn't need to attack you because the region goes through stealth. And now this guy's in the back and attack her because she has no stealth. So the region counters stealth because normally she can't be targeted. But when you have region damage, doesn't matter. That's sick. Super sick. All right. So more end grabs, right? Actually, no. Invigorating solution. You draw three next turn. Absolutely. That's so good for my deck. Okay. Apply days to all enemy units. That's very good. Apply armor to all friendly units. We can put this in the back, and we just go short stack in armor. We play a lot of spells. Hey, we also get armor at the same time. We can also put this in the back, and now we have plus five magic damage on that floor. That's kind of nuts. Anybody remember Shaman from Hearthstone? Now all our, on that floor, all our spells do five more stuff. I think I like the daze. It feels really nice to have the ability to daze, but I am leaning towards the mage. Nope, I'm going for the daze. I think it's a very good spell. Days means that they can't they can't do any attack damage on that whole floor. All right, so we got more removal and some spells. We can upgrade our spells and get some more gold, or we can do some duplication. And I think we want to duplicate at this point. We want to duplicate Titan Stoof, right? We made that decision, and we kind of removed enough as it is. So let's go ahead and see what this is first. Interesting. Oh, this one. The Bone Shaker makes its way through an abandoned trade yard. The once bustling workshop is now eerily silent and empty, picked over by scavengers. Though in the rubble, I'm able to make out a couple of things that may be useful. A large hook and some quick release doors. So we can make it so that I put a unit to the bottom and make it dazed, or I can make something go to the top and get dazed. I want to do the trap shoot. I like that ability. And let's go ahead and duplicate our Titan's Tooth. Boom. Let me make sure there's nothing else I want to do. I do have some beefy stuff that I can duplicate. Like, Echo Wake is pretty decent. Nah, it's 100% the Titan's Tooth. Although it's also a Cycle of Life. I still think it's the Titan's Tooth. Maybe I'm overestimating Frostbite, I don't know. It also plays all my other skills for free. Sorry, the fact that it, the anvil makes it a little bit better. Fell the wings of light. This clipped warrior has become winged once more, creating statues in her former image to block your soul. Wrath Crest. Alabaster Guardians have multi-strike. She also empowers them with rage. So she can go through each little floor and make these statues a little bit stronger. So, But they start off with zero attack. So it's manageable. It's gotta be careful. That they're multi-hitters, but I have spikes. I have cycle of life, so it's quite good. She's on that floor first, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, I don't gotta worry about that. I can just set up on the bottom. And what I can do is play this. I can. I forgot to put this in the back, so when I play that, I get. That was my bad. I can get energy next turn. This is pretty good because I can get energy next turn because he gets hit twice. I'm also just making my unit die. That's kind of sucky. 
right? These guys are also immobile. They cannot move. So all in all, I messed up a little bit, and I basically didn't get some um, incantation on her, but that's fine. No big deal. I gotta manage these 90 units. I need to find my big sweeper. These guys are moving up and doing some work. So where's my big sweeper, dude? We can do Titans too. We can also daze these guys. A couple of things we could do. Like I want to play Titans too, and also Glacier Seal, but I only have three energy. So I gotta make a decision. Do I play my Titans tooth or do I play my big, uh, big beefy Husk Kermit and try to knock these guys down? Hmm. I feel like Titans tooth is too good to pass up on. And I think that we want to restore health here because of my mid champion. And my incantation over here. I think I also want to do Crypt Builder right here, kill that thing. I also think I want to do uh, some restore here again. And maybe a little bit of that. All right, we do need to play this Awaken ho Awoken Hollow though. Because at the moment, that guy's gonna go up there with some 61 life. Now, if we get dazed, then he doesn't do anything. We can bring him down with Trap Claw, or sorry, the Trap Shoot, but we don't actually have it for sure. I'm gonna do Sting here, kill that guy. Do a wake on her so she regenerates this damage. That guy's dead. I can keep doing the regeneration stuff. Um, that guy's just gonna do some damage to my pyre, but not that much. Very negligible amount. This guy's also kind of a problem. This guy's a problem. I need to do something about that guy. He needs to get him touched. Whenever this unit gets hit, I gain energy, so we're gonna get a lot of energy next turn. She has a lot of life, by the way. Damn, that guy is pretty beefy. So we do Titan Stoof over here. Because the earlier you get the the earlier you get the frostbite on them, the quicker they die. Do some regeneration stuff. That guy should be dead soon. So what we're gonna do is, oh we have we have to make a decision between dazing this guy or doing damage. Well, that guy's gonna be do some work to my pyre. Is he not? So he has currently 98 life. Now, if I do this stuff, I can make it do 11, so 15 damage. So instead of 98, he has 94, sorry, 84. And then he dies in three hits as opposed to dying in four hits. So this is important because this guy dies in an extra hit so I don't take as much damage to my pyre. That's pretty important. Daze doesn't mean anything because he's not going to be dazed when he hits my pyre. But at least my pyre... Oh, I did my math wrong. Got my big dude. This guy's already dying to Frostbite. It's probably a big dude over here. Uh, my Pyre took a lot of damage there. It's unfortunate. I want to put this in the front over here. And then I'm going to do a Weaken. So she has Region for days. And then everything becomes free. And then look how much I'm scaling up my little... Uh, what's her name? Siren? I'm scaling up my Siren like crazy. We're just chilling here. Ah, he got 50 armor to kill the statue. That's what happened. Right. So my map was correct. If you didn't think about the thinking. Thank you, Zyware. And there she goes. 
Cycle of Lifetime. Oh, it's either Titan's Tooth or Cycle Life. It's gotta be S Titan's Tooth. And we do this, because what I want to do is... Well, damn, I wanted Crypt Brother to be on her, but unfortunately... I can't. So what we need is like... A way to manage the fact that... Titan's Tooth and Crypt Builder or whatever. Or Psycho Life is like a Nambo. Look how much region this girl has though, it's crazy. You can also gain energy. With the um I'm just getting like crazy right now. I can gain energy if I play a spell and then I play Ingrafts. Let's go, Titans 2. Oh my god. damage I'm doing. It's game over. You can daze bosses? Yeah, I can make one of them cost less, but it's a little bit awkward. I gotta, I just gotta I'll figure it out. Oh, our build's working. I think he's a bad one. Yeah, it's kind of awkward, exactly. All right. We get to pick now. Apply two region and two spikes. Add a copy of this card to this card. I don't like that much. Another cycle of life or a deep offering. More card draw. All right. And we get a lot of card draw and we can play more spells. So look at it this way. Deep offering reads as follows. Let's say I play Titan's Tooth. And I make this deep offering free. And then I draw a whole new hand and I can play even more spells. It's gotta be deep offering. So we can go for energy, because at this point we actually want a little bit more energy. It's pretty important. I have mana now though. Now I have mana. Okay. You hear me first? I'm not sure why that is. So we can upgrade our units. We can remove more cards. Or we can upgrade our spells. What do we want to remove at this point? What's not cutting it? Maybe Frozen Lance is not cutting it? Yeah, similar to Say Spire. It is. Is Frozen Lance not cutting it? Let's go over here. Because I want to upgrade some of these spells. To remove consuming costs one more. So do I have anything that consumes? That's pretty good. Deep offering. It removes consume, but it costs one more. Huh. Invigorating solution. Now invigorating solution costs one more, but invigorating solution... Draw three next turn. That's pretty fucking good. So we do this. It no longer has to consume, but it also costs zero. No matter what. Make, we can make a cell get out of my deck. So for instance, like, let's say I don't want like Titan's Gratitude that much. But it's not always going to cost zero because of animal, that's the thing. Like, maybe I don't really want Titan's Gratitude that much because it's kind of awkward with the other card that I have, which is... I, I'm, I'm just doing that because that card's kind of awkward. I want to reroll. Make a spell have more magic power, that's really good. Give a spell held over. Okay, that's really good. So now we can play some of these cards more than once. So Titan's Tooth, I can keep playing it. That's fucking insane. Make a spell stronger. We can make this be 20 health. We can make Engraft 11 health, and it just it's a free card. We can make Glimmer 
a strong AoE? Do we want to make the AoE stronger there? Glimmer seems pretty good because it restores and does damage. I'm upgrading. So what we want to do is make so it's a little bit since we have so many Titans. I want to make it so that Cycle and Titan together can be played. So we're going to upgrade Cycle of Life. And um, let's upgrade our champion once more. Holdover means it goes to the top of your deck after you play it. Now it has 100 life and it does 60 damage every time you recruit it. So this is a huge tank. A regen to win, baby. That's the title of this one. It's regen to win. You'll see Holdover in action. Non boss enemies start with five spikes. That's perfectly fine. I'm gonna do it. Give me all that gold. We're gonna be rich. I feel pretty strong. So we got Nepho, the wingless general. The winged scavengers of the hell pyre have learned to dampen the effectiveness of the pyre. Shard, you ferry to the end of hell. At the start of your turn, you lose one ember for every stack of ember drain. Decreases. Oh, he drains my ember. That's unfortunate. He also has sweep. Two damage and 90 life. This guy is. 80 armor, 20 life. Okay, he's a big tank. Let's go. If you go all in a single aspect, grows really big. It seems like it. Like, my health is insane right now. Only service light will burn bright. Let's put this girl here. I can put my big sweeper right here next to her. But I want to... So, just, I'm going to use a lot of stuff on her. I want, I want to put the stuff that scales... Behind her. So the stuff that scales off the spells, I want to put behind her because I'm already going to be playing so many things. Wait, this. Why does that die? Oh, it has sweep. Oh no, I just realized it has sweep. Uh oh. Whoopsies. Oopsies. I want to make sure that guy's dead. Because he's doing the Ember Drain stuff. Got a hundred gold from that. That's crazy. So I lost my little, my little totem. That's okay though. That's okay. Not that big of a deal, guys. This guy has sweep as well. He just sweeps for two. Oh, but she attacks to a spike. So I need to, I need to restore my health on these guys. So what we do is tight, Titan's tooth. And we restore. We do uh I meant to put this in. Damn. Wait. Since I discard Titan Stoop, it applies anyways. Holy shit, that combo. I play. I can play both Titan Stoop. Big. And since I, I can do deep offering. Oh man, there's so many things I could do here. Oh man, we could do so many things. Let's just scale them up big time. Scale up big time, boys. If I get five energy, this deck can nearly go infinite or just do crazy turns. Look at these turns. They can't even get past the first floor. So having a discard at the end is actually quite nice.
Look how much I'm scaling my little girl. And we keep drawing so many cards because it never consumes, so it's just like... Holy smackaronis. I can play both because of uh, Friends of Swarm, but... Friends of Swarm could play Titan Sweep again. Look at this combo. Now I have life back because of Engraft being free. Mine is 792. Well, it's already game over. I did my job. Let's speed this up. I'm gonna speed it up for you guys. It's crazy. It's kind of loud. Holy shit. I didn't know it was so loud, guys. No one told me. It's already game over. GG. Nice, nice, nice. Look at this money we have. We are rich. A little bit louder. That guy was yelling. Alright. Um, more awake. I don't think we need this stuff. Gain, apply sap and frostbite. That's pretty good. It gets out of your deck and it just applies sap, which is quite nice. I'm going to take that. It's a decent card. Oh, the X cost is awkward though, but it gets out of your deck and sap is a very good thing. So sap is like disarm. This is the final floor before the... So this is it, guys. This is it. Merchant of Trinkets. We also have Merchant of Magic. Want to upgrade some of our units? Sure. We can duplicate some cards. What card do we want to duplicate? Let's go find out. Are we going to duplicate more Titan's Tooth or are we going to duplicate something else? Before we duplicate, let's take a look at the trinkets, alright? Let's buy some artifacts before we duplicate. Gain 7 Ember on the first turn of the battle. Nuts. Can we go infinite with that? No. When a card with consume is played, deal 30 damage to the front enemy unit. 50% chance to remove all buff effects on an enemy unit when it enters... Your train. That's pretty good. Cleansing water is amazing. <laughs> Holy shit. Cleansing water is stupid good. Let's see what this has. Upgrade some of our units. We can upgrade like... Upgrade this girl. Wait, should I give her multi-attack? What's endless? When this unit dies, return it to the top of the drop pile. Holy shit. Give you some spikes. Fuck it. Um, do I want to re-roll? See what I get. Give a unit. Do we like this stuff? Uh, do we want to re-roll some of this? Uh, some of these trinkets first. Deal two damage whenever an enemy mo moves between floors. Your pyre gets fifteen damage. Apply three days to enemy units that are moved between floors. Out. Beautiful. Let's buy that. Let's see if we can buy like some more. What do I want to make fatter? Let's give the siren some more upgrades. Let's give uh I don't want to give the glacial attacks. Oh, that's so susceptible. It's so susceptible. I think it's but we don't need frozen lance. All right, so what can I give large stone though? Maybe I can give it to uh, the siren. Oh, she's already full. I already made her full. Do I want to give this guy this? 
No, because it's actually much better if I don't do that. And giving the strength doesn't do anything. Uh, everything's full. All right, so let's go duplicate now. All right, cool. And then the last duplication is gonna be. We could do more Titans Tooth. Or we can do more card draw so that we constantly draw cards. Let's go. Seraph the Diligent, the end is near. The great trader will devour your spells. Oh, wait. She takes my spells. The first spell card played each turn gets consumed. Oh, I didn't get the thing for consume. Ah, wait, this is countering my deck entirely, and I wasn't, I was playing right into this, and I didn't remember. This counters my deck entirely. Wait, I'm dead. Wait, this counters me entirely. How the fuck How am I supposed to play when it consume my spells? And she has 1,900 life? Uh... Uh... I didn't, I didn't get anything for consume stuff. This is really bad. That's really bad. I said you gotta add more spells. It told me that. I should have. I made my deck a super lean, mean machine. And that's not a good thing. Ah, uh, I can't. I can't consume a Titan's Tooth, right? There's no way. We just, we just gotta play with units then. <laughs> we just gotta play with units then. Dude, that thing that makes me get my days sometimes where it, it only discards would be really nice right about now. Or some of these shitty cards would be quite nice. I don't want to discard my hand. <laughs> Fuck. Do I just do Spike of the Stygian? I don't want to discard my hand. Wait, does this, this take up the consume stack? It does, right? It takes up the consume stack? So I can play Titan's Tooth? Sick. Ah, oh, thank you. I forgot to put my Glacial Spirit in the back. Let's do that. Well, can I fit it over here? This is probably better here, right? Because I'm going to play a lot of spells over there. Trigger, if this card remains in your hand at the end of the turn. Oh, I've got to play this. Alright, one sec. Let's do Glimmer here. And let's do, uh, take this out. Let's just do, let's do Daze. Oh, this guy's gonna stay alive. Wait, fuck, I didn't keep track of the guy on top. Okay. So some of these things are gonna be... This already consumes itself, right? So let's just use the cards that already consume themselves. I gotta make everything from super, like, oh my god, Titan's Tooth. Look how much crossbow she's getting right now. And then 
I use Spike of the Stygian as a consume later on to like take away the consume stuff. So the consume part is probably pr pretty problematic. So we, we do Spike of the Stygian eventually. I want to get this out of my deck. I don't want this stuff in my deck. So. But I also want to just like use Restore to get it out of my deck, right? Although Restore is pretty good. The thing is, I really want to play Titans too, so... I guess I'm okay of getting Restore out of my deck. Or Titans Grad too. I'm just scared what's... Okay, what do we Restore out of our deck? And we want to play Titans... I want to keep adding Frostbite to her, but I also... Yeah, I want to keep adding Frostbite to her, but... I also want to keep doing damage on these guys. It's tough. Because I want to keep stacking this as well, right? Because we have Incantation. So... I'll do this. Yeah, this guy needs to die as well. Two of these, so I could play one of them that I don't really care about. I keep stacking the frostbite. I can really go all in on the frostbite this turn. Look how much frostbite that is, it's crazy. Could, I'm probably gonna just kill her off of Frostbite alone. And we're kind of managing the consume aspect a little bit. Oh, we lost the guy in the front though. Um, I, I want this guy just to tank a little bit because if she's busy attacking, she's dying to Frostbite. Also, if I do sap on her, she doesn't do anything for a long ass time. If I put this guy here, and then I can use the consume buff here. She doesn't do that much damage. And then I can do things like this. If I keep this guy alive, she just takes a lot more damage. Like she's almost halfway dead. And then by the time she gets to the next floor, she's dead. She's dead this turn. My hand is full, so it's good to know your hand can get full. It's good to know. They're both dead. Wait, why are they both dead? I'm trying to, I'm confused. Why are they dying so fast? This guy's 123 life. Why is he dying? Am I missing something? Because of the region? Ah, the, the mix of the region and stuff? Ah, there's more rounds, it's right. This is relentless. Dude, he just destroyed the boss. Wow. Even with, like, kind of. Sketchy, scary, consume. We just decimated that. <laughs> GG. And that's how you win with the Stygian, guys. Sorry, I, I thought the Stygian awoken. Awoken Stygian combo. What's up, buddy? Get my headphones. Alright. 
We're now Covenant rank 2. It adds a dead weight to your starting deck. Wait, on rank 2 we get a dead weight? What? 